Because in this day and age, modern life has placed us in an increasingly pressured state. Am I right? With our day-to-day -day work, with you know traffic jam, with deadlines that we have to meet, and to maintain peak performance, especially when the heat is on, it is imperative that we keep our inner cool. And it is no different inside your car as well. Just think about it. You, turbo charging, um, uh, increasing congestion, the switch towards hybrid vehicles, all of these reasons and more. Our modern engines have been operating at higher temperatures than ever before and the real enemy here is heat. And this is where our new Petronas Sintem lubricants come in handy as it is equipped with exceptionally strong oil chains that not only allows it to transfer but to also absorb heat at critical parts deep within the engine to give you optimum performance during pressure times. And of course, we're going to learn more about this in detail in just a bit. But just to share with you and walk you through, we do have four new inclusion in our Petronas Sintem Lubricants family, which of course Eric is going to share with you in detail the science and technology behind it. We have our star product, which is the Petronas Sintem 7000 0W16. You've got a hybrid 0W20, non-hybrid 0W20. And this over here is your Petronas Sintem 3000. 5W30, what can it do? How does it deliver optimal performance? We'll find out soon enough. seven years ago when we started with Mercedes in Formula One. But why is it so important? Because if you look at your dashboard, the temperatures you see for the oil are usually between 90 and 120. So that's not very dramatic, isn't it? But if you look into the engine, what's happened in the engine is 
are a lot different from what you see on your dashboard. The peak temperatures in the piston area and at the cylinder walls can exceed easily 200 degrees. So, first of all, an oil needs to be robust enough to withstand those peaks and temperatures. And that is one part. But the part that is different in petrol Asyntium with Cooltech is what we have engineered into it. The Cooltech formula that actually takes away the heat from those hotspots. Why is that important? We just come from Singapore with the Formula One team. We have raced in Monaco. Those are the circuits, street, street, uh, street circuits, where usually temperatures fluctuate a lot because of short straights and slow corners. Yeah? It is these races, if you look at statistics, are the races that have the most engine failures. Mercedes hasn't had any engine failures in either of those. Because we managed to keep the engine temperature stable, and that is very important. Peak engine temperatures we can master, but having stable temperatures is the, the, the uh, art to master. To expand that a little bit more, let me go into a human example. We all sometimes get a bit agitated if we are stuck in a traffic jam, we have to run for a meeting, we are late, and we should know better. You all feel, if you are agitated, if you get hot under the skin, you cannot perform at your best. You lose concentration, you cannot get the work done as efficiently as you would if you keep your inner cue. Engine react in exactly the same. If the engine keeps their inner cool, if the temperature is stable, the efficiency of the engine will be at its best. And that is what we have denied into Sintio with Gurtek. But let me now go a bit away from the product and talk about us, Petronas, and our technology. Why have we become suddenly a leader in technology from just another oil company. Why is it? How have we managed to do that? I give you three reasons. One reason lies seven years ago when we started to develop products for the new Mercedes engine after the V8 era changed into the V6 turbocharged area. And we completely changed the way we develop products for Formula One first. We did it in an approach that we call co-engineering. That means the engineers that developed the engine for the Formula One car worked right from the start, from the drawing board, with our engineers and scientists who developed the fuels, be it the fuel or be it the lubricant. This was extremely successful in the motorsport, as everybody knows, and we have transferred this approach also to our product development for Syntium. We have developed this product together with the likes of Mercedes, of Fiat, of BMW, and recently we've also worked with Proton Geely on, on products. So it is a very different way of developing products and it's extremely successful. The second reason why Petronas has come from just another oil company to the top of technology is because we now have a global network of technology centers. We are present in almost all continents, North America, South America, Africa, our lab in, uh, here in Malaysia at Bangi, we have a lab in China and our headquarters for technology which is located in Italy. With this we have access to the customers more closely, the automotive industry and other industries and we can source the best raw materials globally for our products. Number, number two. The reason number three, and this is probably one of the most important, is people. With the technology careers, with the laboratories that we have around the, the world, we are able to attract the best talents in the industry. And that helps us enormously when we develop products. So our head of re uh, research and technology in lubricants, Dr. Andrew Holmes, very international career, studied in Scotland and Edinburgh, did his PhD in the US, worked for, for a big oil company 
in Asia and Australia and now joined us as Head of Technology in Italy. Dr. Nazir, who leads Petronas Research and Development in Bangui, very experienced and industry veteran with a lot of knowledge. Marcelo Campanema, one of the leading minds in industrial lubricants. He heads our laboratory in Brazil. Also a very valuable man, uh, member of the team. And last but not least, Dr. Peter Kranenburg, who leads our automotive uh, product development. So he's, he and his team are the minds behind Syntium and also the minds behind the lubricant that goes into the Formula One car. Very talented people here who stand for a valid, very talented team behind them. So just to recap, why are we where we are? Why do we have the capabilities of developing the best lubricants in the world? We have a new approach, we work with the automotive industry right from the start. We have a global network of technology centers and we are able to attract the best minds in the industry. So with that, we developed our new series of uh, Sintium 7000, the ultimate series, which now has a new member of the family, which is our Sintium for hybrids. Because hybrids becoming more and more prominent in the fleet, and we believe that we can go better than the genuine one, because hybrids have different requirements onto the lubricant. Having said all that, of course we are top class in terms of oil film stability. We have good work performance even with a lubricant as thin as 0W16. A very thin lubricant, no compromise in wear and no concerns about engine durability. All that is engineered into our Centium with, uh, with Cooltech. So, with all that in mind, I hope I could convince you and make you advocates for this new product range and I thank you very much for your attention. Races. I believe we have six more races for the rest of the season. What are your thoughts? It's long. It's a lot of races still left. It's been a long, long season already. You know, we started the practice already in February. So um, this is probably one of, one of the trickiest things for um, a racing driver because it's just weekend in, weekend out. You, you can't miss a race. You always have to be at 100% in, in physical and mental state so that you're constantly punching at the top level. And that's not easy to do in 21 races in 21 countries throughout the year. It's, it's very easy to, to have a weekend or two that are not so good. And, um, but keeping it optimal all year long is really uh, the trickiest part. So we've got some really good races coming up. We have obviously Russia this weekend. So I fly uh, tonight back to Russia. And then um, we've got Japan, which is incredible, Mexico City, which I love, Brazil, and um, Austin, Texas, which, is, which has been a, a great race for me for some time. And we're also trying to push this car forward and trying to squeeze every little drop out of this car and out of this engine and out of Petronas. Now, every, every little bit, just to keep us, just, just give us that little bit of edge in the race weekend. So I'm, I'm hopeful and confident. So, do you believe that the Mercedes AMG Petronas Formula One team will continue to dominate the rest of the season? Is that what you're saying? Well, I mean, we're not dominating right now. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll, we'll dominate. Yeah. The thing is, it's, it's, I would say it's always easy, easier to chase. As a racing driver, it's always easier to chase a position. If you're in first, to, to, uh, to reinvent yourself, to um, constantly innovate ahead of everyone whilst they're chasing, they have a target. Yours is kind of invisible. It's, um, it's much, much harder. So that's why I'm really proud of the team that I work with because it's pretty incredible what we've done over these seven years. And um, you know, this had, we currently are in the lead, and I think we can we can maintain that. But it's going to take a lot of work. This is people watch the races, they switch on and see us have this two-hour race. It looks like not much has gone into it, but the amount of work that goes into creating that spark and make that moment special. It's a lot of energy, a lot of, a lot of man hours, a lot of travel, a lot of people, time, people taking time away from family and friends. And so um, there's a huge amount of commitment behind us, but I do truly believe that we can put up a strong fight in the next six races. Well, all the best in the upcoming races, and perhaps 
a couple of light-hearted and uh, fun questions, perhaps. You know, you've been to Malaysia countless of times. Have you picked up any Malaysian words that you could share with our fellow Malaysian fans and friends over here? Let's let's hear it. Honestly, I don't remember anything. <laughs> No, no, I don't remember. I don't know why I don't remember anymore. Makan, makan, makan. Oh, apa kabar? Apa kabar? Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. All right, that's good enough. Yeah, every time you come back here, we're going to teach you a new word. Okay? Yeah, I, I say that every time I go. But what I do know is I love roti canai. Oh, that is my next question, actually. Okay, to try and find some before I leave, but. I Difficult to eat butter. Okay. <laughs> How about durians? Are you fan of durians? Huh? Durians? Durians. Uh, have you tried durians? Oh, yeah. oh. yeah. Yes? You love it? No, that's a smelly one, right? It's <laughs> not smelly. No, no, it's it's smelly. unique. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <seriously. laughs> Alright, so thank you very much, Louis, and Dr. Sri and Giuseppe as well for answering the questions.